Good afternoon guys, just out with the uh, car, been busy, busy, busy working all week. And I thought, just need to get out and a bit of fresh air. The car is absolutely filthy, but it's going to the main dealer tomorrow, so hopefully they might wash it. <laughs> um, yeah, having its new wing mirror fitted over there. Not that it looks anything wrong with it, it just doesn't fold in anymore, the mechanism is broken or something, or worn out, or something like that. Um, anyway, got the RX-10 Mark IV with me. And we are around about an hour away from sunset, so I'm just heading down the beach just to have a little walk along the seafront, maybe take a couple of pictures, see what it actually ends up doing. Looks pretty good. Um, so yeah, just thought I would do that. And, uh, just go for a little wander. Alright, so guys, I'm down in Bex Hill on Sea, which is where I grew up basically. Um, always some good sunsets generally, especially if the weather's like it is. Um, as you can see here, just snapping away, a couple of shots. I actually didn't use any of these, um, especially this area here, just because there was too many people in shot really, and it was just, it didn't really work. But you got to experiment and keep snapping, um, and eventually you get a couple of shots that obviously work well. So, um, as the sun was going very quickly, it's amazing how quickly it just disappears behind the buildings. Um, you don't have much time at all. So um, here's a couple of lads basically on the skateboards having a little practice and you know just living life basically. Um, that was really cool as the sun was going down just before it went over the top of the the uh, flats there. Um, so shooting at 500 frames per second with the RX10 Mark IV just so you know. Um, and uh, here we go. So shooting as well at 600 millimeters back to 24 just to give you a rough idea but very high shutter speeds um, as you can see there and obviously there I'm slowing it down to get the exposure on the building at Delaware Pavilion. Uh, met a couple of lovely guys down there um, skateboarders, BMXers um, they were pretty cool, they were, they were actually um, shooting with a Sony a7 III um, with a gimbal and everything as well doing some cool stuff um, so we swapped Instagram stuff and I'll put the links below in there for their uh, Instagram so you can have a look um, so we started messing around. I said, "Oh, obviously I can shoot up to a thousand frames per second with this thing." So, you know, we had a little mess around, uh, which was pretty cool. This, uh, but as you like the experimentation you need to do. So I was way off. Didn't realise he was going to go so high up. Um, so we did it again, and um, sort of missed again. <laughs> um, but pretty cool as he came back down, did a little bit of a, a one eighty uh, manoeuvre there. Um, and then this one's better but like I say you just got to experiment so the more you do things the more you change um, your technique slightly just to you know get what you want so that worked pretty well there um, so sort of tracked with him which was nice So that was the moon there, just uh, just thought I'd zoom in and have a look, see what it was looking like. Um, basically here doing a just a little bit of a, uh, I don't know what you call it, a, a slide or a glide or something. Um, completely, probably not the right terms. But uh, just in slow motion again, now down at 250, no 200, yeah 250 frames per second. Um, and then here's a few shots that I was snapping, so it wasn't any long, probably half an hour. Um, having a good old chat to the two guys there. Um, but as you can see here, RX-10 Mark IV working nicely. Um, unedited shots, just straight out of the camera. Um, as you can see here, lovely bit of light coming, but the sun was going so quick. You literally got to work so quickly to get what you want. And I'm ashamed there was a, a container in shot there on the right hand side. Um, but you know, you can't always have what you want. And then just experimenting with shots here, 600 millimeters, and just adjusting the aperture just to get a little bit more depth, a little bit more sharpness on the um, uh, the plant there with the sun right behind. Um, shooting at one thirty-two thousandth of a second, and this shot here is at one thirty-two thousand um, of a second ISO one hundred and f five point six, which is kind of the sweet spot for the uh, RX ten. Uh, and this shot here, just a little bit different, just almost like it's cradling the sun in it there. Uh, look pretty cool. So, like I say, just messing around, experimenting. And then on to the, the couple of guys, the couple of lads who are actually um, on their skateboards. It just worked, you know, shooting straight into the sun. 
um, with their silhouettes, but actually the colour was lighting them. Uh, the sun, sorry, the colour from the sunset itself was kind of lighting them, causing refractions and stuff like that. So that really added um, a nice bit of backlighting as well. Uh, it just worked really well. It's just one of those moments of just in the right place, right time, and uh, just kind of works. It's kind of like street shots, I guess. Um, and then uh, we started messing around with um, some silhouettes, so high shutter speeds, so one thousandth of a second, uh, f2.4 these shots are, at wide angle, so 24mm. Um, as you can see there, uh, jumping straight up basically, um, and then flipping the skateboard. Uh, but as you can see the light was beautiful, uh, but going very, very quickly. Literally, uh, you know, there you go, so another shot there, one thousandth of a second um, as well. And then we started, uh, there's a cone further down um, across the sort of patio area. And uh, it was basically jumping over it, but trying to land, not sort of land on it, but just touching it. That was pretty cool. Um, so it's just like I say, guys, it's, it's basically just experiment. Um, having the camera in manual really does allow you to have full control over the camera. Um, some people like it, some people don't. It's not wrong, it's not right. But for me, I've always been a manual shooter. And um, it just allows me to get what exactly what I want when I want so um, and here's just a, a close-up shot of one of the, uh, the skateboard wheels there as you can see there it's been ground and slid along things and stuff like that so that was pretty cool as you can see the bokeh looks quite nice in the bottom right hand side as well from the street lighting and and then just a few of the uh, slow motion shots here just experimenting trying to get the skateboard up into the air so you could actually see the skateboard a bit better and as we move around to get a slightly better angle here um, we could actually almost get the skateboard and shot a little bit better there. Um, not easy, especially when it was literally rushed. I mean, we literally just met each other randomly, had a good chat, and the sun was going, and uh, we just started messing around. Once the sun had gone completely, we were still messing around. Um, but yeah, this shot here, I actually put the camera down on the decking there, so when the bike comes up and actually lands, as you see right at the beginning of the video, the uh, the rear wheel coming back down, what is in the front? Yeah, the rear wheel first. Um, that's the actually the physical shaking um, on camera of the camera basically moving around on the deck. So it kind of looks like we added it in, but we didn't. So anyway, guys, don't forget to click subscribe subscribe button rather and the little notification bell as well. Check out my new channel as well, which is the Stuart James Lifestyle channel. Uh, links below and um, check out the uh, everyone's Instagrams, and I shall see you soon.